We're back here at NAB 2013 and I'm standing next to Costa Panagos and we're going to be talking about the Caldigit T3. NAB is brought to you by XFX. Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from industrialrevolution.com. Okay, Costa, I'm quite familiar with some of the Caldigit products. We've run quite a bit on fcp.co before now. Sure. Uh, but this unit's new and it's got some new features which are quite exciting. So please tell me a bit more. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the T3 supports SSDs and hard drives, up to 12 terabytes with uh, regular hard drives, or over a terabyte with SSDs. But the unique function is that you can actually mix and match SSDs and hard drives. So for example, you could put two SSDs in a RAID 0 as uh, your scratch disk, and then have a four terabyte drive at the bottom as a backup. Or you could do the alternative, which is um, have one SSD as a scratch disk, and then have two four terabyte drives in a RAID 1 to mirror your data in case uh, you were ever to lose uh, the hard drive. So there's new products that have come out. Obviously, Apple have got their Fusion Drive. Yeah. Can we do a similar type of thing to speed up performance with this? Um, you can speed up performance by putting it into RAID 0, so three drives working together or two drives working together. With three drives uh, in a RAID 0 with SSDs, you can get over 800 megabytes a second. Most companies make uh, two bay RAIDs, and we decided for relatively the same price point, we would make a three bay RAID uh, for faster speeds and larger storage capacity. You can actually daisy chain six devices up to 72 terabytes. Which is quite a lot. Yes. <laughs> but then you're, get, you're going to get quite close to the Thunderbolt speeds anyway with, with, with that. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about price and availability. Uh, the price will start at $699 uh, for 6 terabytes up to $1,100 uh, for the 12 terabyte version. Fantastic. I also must say, we've got Premiere running here, but actually on one of the other stands, we are, they are actually running Final Cut we got Final Cut Final on Cut all the others, 10. yes. <laughs> so we just happen to have be there in front of Premiere to see this new unit. But we, we are, they are running Final Cut Pro 10 over there. So just as we finished, Costa said there's one more thing, and he pointed to this expansion dock. So... Yep, this is the Thunderbolt station. Um, it expands the connections from your Mac. It adds uh, three USB 3 ports, um, HDMI out, gigabit Ethernet, uh, and it's all connects via one Thunderbolt port. And it's got dual Thunderbolt ports so you can continue daisy chaining your uh, workflow. That, that would be really handy because my MacBook Pro Resna has got two Thunderbolt ports, but I actually use one to connect to the internet with the Ethernet connection. Right. And I use another one to drive a display. Right. And then I've got a loop through. Right. So by using this, I could actually connect the, to the internet via the Ethernet port yes. and then use these to, to, to do it. Yeah. I mean, Thunderbolt's great, but it's, if you're not careful, you can have end of chain devices yeah. and they just run out. So Absolutely. And I mean, as laptops are getting smaller and smaller, you're losing more ports. And as a creative professional, you need as many ports as you can possibly get. Yeah. This will give you all, as well uh, audio in and out, uh, three USB 3, HDMI, gigabit Ethernet for $199 in an uh, aluminium enclosure. And when's that going to be available? That'll be out in about three months, about June time. Okay, at $199? Yes. Okay, I might be buying one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Costa, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. NAB is brought to you by XFX. Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from industrialrevolution.com.